you have a template. It's partially intuitive and partially based on your learning. I, I think that there's both going on. I don't know to what extent you're aware which is which, but you're obviously very well studied, but you're also, you have an artistic sentiment. And I think that, that your storytelling in the moment, making sense out of any given set of phenomena, be it a TV show from Disney to a uh, racy music video, you can just apply this thing. <laughs> Uh, right. <laughs> yeah. I'm referring to something you released yesterday. Yeah, which, just a recent video, the Montero. Very well done. Very well done. Um, so it seems like you have a template for a temple that can organize everything else. Um, underneath. I, it. So the, I, the idea, like the way that I see it is that the patterns itself are like the things that I'm pointing to are not visible. Like they're not, they can't really be totally contained. And so... It's just that they're, they're, they inform reality. And so the, the way to, the way you can only intuit them, but you can't totally describe them. So the idea is to help. One of the ways that I try to do it is to, sh is to surprise people with examples that they didn't think were, you know, like, I'll, like you said, like I'll find an example from the Bible and then from some stupid music video. And then the fact that I can show you that those two things are talking about the same reality kind of gives you a, um, like a like an intuition of something of something above it which is which is manifesting in these two different things and yeah. so that's kind of so so it's not like so you could say that the temple for example is definitely an image a cosmic image of everything um but there are many images like that like the, there there are many versions of of that kind of cosmic image but the, the the image of a temple is definitely like a microcosm in terms of how it has it has it accounts for kind of all all reality, even the breakdown of reality. One of the problems with a lot of the systems is that they don't account for the breakdown of the system. Uh, whereas the kind of traditional symbolism actually accounts for the place where systems break down. So that the idea of a hierarchy of being means that you also yeah. understand that on the edge of that, there are freaks, there are exceptions, there are all these things on the edge. Um, and so it, it actually and you can actually help people understand that. Like you can, you can help people understand what the role of the freak is or what the role of the strange is uh, in, in kind of a meta system, let's say. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas when we tend to think of the system, we tend to think of things that are totally contained and that the, all of it is named. But in the symbolic vision, there's also room for the unnamed and the unnameable, let's say, or the things yeah. that escape, escape uh, identification. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you do have like one... Uh, symbol to rule them all you do keep on pointing <laughs> to christ yeah you say it explicitly. well i think yeah the incarnation the incarnation is definitely a how can i say this it definitely brings in everything into itself uh and it does in a way that's very difficult to describe even the story itself it's it's hard to contain it in your mm -hmm. mind when you try to because it christ contains sometimes these like wild opposites in the same story and it can kind of, when you look at this, the story, it kind of can go by you and you don't realize it. But then when you start to attend to it, you realize what's going on in this So story? wait, it's... It, it. <laughs>